Hi folks, Sonia here from 11th Street Design. Today I want to show you how to edit our Sports Legends Canva poster. Uh, you'll want to keep anything that's important inside these purple guides here. Um, this will just ensure that nothing gets cut off, but don't worry, they won't print. Okay, let's start by uploading your photo. So come over here to Uploads. I've already uploaded a photo, so I'm just going to click on it once and it adds it over here on your canvas. Um, I want you to keep in mind these poster prints are only as good as your photos, so you're going to want to be sure to start with the best images that you can. Um, this means no images pulled from social media or players cropped out of group images because this will lead to poor quality prints. So be sure to take a look at the smartphone photography guide um, that we've included. It's over here in the notes. Uh, if you scroll down, just highlight the link here copy it and put it into a browser. We've got some great information in there that'll help you take your best photos. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's remove the background from the photo. So you folks, uh, let's come up to edit image. Um, you folks with the pro version of Canva, you're just gonna click on background remover. And it literally removes it that quickly and is probably um, the best reason alone to have a Canva Pro account. Now. For Canva free users, you uh, you can remove backgrounds from your photos and upload a PNG. Um, and we've got a great tool, it's called Remove BG. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link to it in the description below for you. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do here is we're go going to want to um, position our player in the layers here so that they so that he goes behind um, the smoke. Um, and actually, first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to trim this up just a little bit. I don't want to cut off any of his body, but let's just trim the sides because as we make this larger, which we're going to do right now, um, it ends up overlapping some items like the text, and it's just hard to grab them. So let's just grab any of these corners. Let's make him whatever side we size we feel looks good. Um, but important note here, uh, let's zoom in. And let's just have a look to see the quality. This looks this looks nice. This is going to print really well. If you notice any pixelization, any jaggy edges, that will print poorly. And if that's the case with your photo, you need to start with a better photo. All right. So let's go ahead and let's put this in. Uh, let's click on the position tab up here, and then we're going to click on layers. And now you're going to take your uh, player, and we want him, as I said, under the smoke. So we're going to bring him down under the smoke layers. Now, I like to position it above the last name here because it looks kind of cool when it overlaps. Um, if you don't like that, just bring him below the last name. That's all. But I'll go ahead and I'll put him back up there. Okay. So let's just sort of position them where we like him. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the blue and make it yellow to match his uniform. So let's start on the background. Let's click on the blue background, come up and click on the background color here. And what you're going to notice is when you upload your photo, um, Canva is going to give you uh, colors, color suggestions that are in your image. So we can start there, uh, we'll click on the yellow. It's a little muted, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to just adjust that color. I'm going to come up a little higher with that. And I think that looks pretty good right there. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to edit our text. So let's click on the last name. We'll come up here, and now we have colors that are in our document. So let's go ahead and just click on that same yellow. And the same thing, just click once on the number, come up here, we'll make that yellow. And for the year, we're going to double click there just to select the year. Come up, make that yellow. Okay, great. So now we have all of our colors in place. And the last thing we need to do is edit text. So let's go ahead and let's start with the last name. Let's triple click. That selects the entire thing and you can go ahead and type right over it. Okay. 
Um, now the next thing we're going to want is the first name. Now we're going to click on you and drag you down a little bit because that last name was rather long. Now if these names um, end up going too long, for instance, let's say I, I had a, one more letter on this last name, what happens is it, it goes over one. So all you need to do is just drag this down. Okay. Uh, but we don't have that. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so uh, now we're going to triple click on the first name and edit that. Just type right over it. And you'll notice that go it goes a little wider. This design is meant to have um, the first name as wide as the letters on the last name. So we're going to come up here to the letter spacing and we're just going to just slide that until it looks about right. And that looks that looks good to me. Uh, again, triple click on the number, and we'll put his number as 18, and last thing we need to do here is just edit the school information. Okay, so we, we've completed our poster edits and now we're ready to download and print. So have a look at the Canva poster how-to guide, um, which we included. We also included a printing guide. Um, here you can go ahead and follow the easy steps that we've outlined for you. These PDF guides are all included in your, in your downloads, so take a look at those next uh, to complete your project in no time at all.